Blue Sky Plan now includes fully automatic teeth segmentation, impacted teeth segmentation, jaw segmentation, and airway segmentation. The segmentations can be used and viewed throughout the software, including our surgical guide, model master, crown and bridge modules, in addition to our aligner functionality for true anatomical teeth movement and aligner planning. The segmentation runs directly in the software, directly on your computer. You could export the files if necessary, but what's really fantastic about having the segmentation directly in the software that you're going to be using for your treatment planning, whether it's surgical guides, aligners, or crowns, is that the data is there, doesn't need to be exported and imported, doesn't need to be aligned, doesn't need to be reoriented. It's all there, all segmented, ready for your treatment planning. In this training tutorial, I will demonstrate how to access the functionality and different options that we have within preferences as to when the functionality should run and different options as to how the functionality should run. Within our surgical guide, crown and bridge, and denture modules, the functionality can be accessed via the segmentation panel in the model master module. If it's not open in front of you, the segmentation panel can be accessed simply by going to the panel dropdown and choosing segmentation. We also have a quick access option by going to tools and going to automatic draw segmentation. The segmentation options exist, as we could see here, under automatic draw segmentation. You could simply check the checkboxes of what you want segmented, maxilla, mandible, and or airways. And you also have an option here, don't merge teeth and jaw models. So if that checkbox is checked, then you will have a result similar to what you have on your screen right now, where each tooth exists as a separate STL model, each jaw exists as a separate STL model, and they're not merged. If you would like the jaw to be merged with the relevant teeth, then uncheck the checkbox of don't merge teeth and jaw models. Once the segmentation is completed, then in your surfaces panel, you will see each tooth and each jaw existing as its own surface. You could hide or show the relevant teeth for a particular jaw just by clicking and hide show CT teeth for the relevant jaw. So as I mentioned, the functionality could be accessed via the model master module, or if you're using surgical guide, crown and bridge, or dentures, and you're going through the relevant process flows, the software will automatically load the model master module first for all the data import and manipulation. You could access the segmentation from there, and then you will automatically be prompted to continue with whatever process flow you're working on. If you're running orthodontics aligner design, then during the process flow, which we'll take a look at how to activate and deactivate in just a minute, during the process flow, you'll automatically be prompted to run the relevant segmentation options when you're importing a CT scan. And this will give you, again, the true anatomical movement of the teeth for full anatomical data and true biomechanical movements when you're designing your aligner cases. What I would like to focus on during this training tutorial are, are different options that we have accessible via tools preferences as to when the different types of segmentation functionality should run or not run automatically. So here I accessed tools, I chose preferences, and then I clicked on surgical guide. Here we have lots of different settings for the software surgical guide module, but if you scroll down to the bottom, you could see the section for automatic functionality. The first checkbox that we have here is run bone segmentation without manual adjustments. So if you would like to go to the segmentation panel, select what you want to segment, and then just have it run from beginning to end with all the segmentation, then you would like to keep this checkbox checked. If you would like to run the draw segmentation, then have the software stop and allow modifications and tweaks to be made to the segmentation before proceeding with segmenting the other arch or the teeth, then you would like to uncheck this checkbox. The software will segment a particular jaw, stop the segmentation, allow you to make any manual modifications or tweaks before proceeding. Now the next three checkboxes are unchecked by default, and these are to run the jaw and teeth and airway segmentation automatically every time you load a CT scan. So if you would like to activate the functionality of the software such that every time you load a CT scan it will automatically run teeth bone and airway segmentation, then you should check these checkboxes 
and the functionality will run again every time you load the CT scan, it will automatically segment the data. Okay, now I switched over to orthodontics. I clicked here on orthodontics and regarding aligner planning, a CT scan is highly recommended. So you have full anatomical data, you'll have true anatomical movements of teeth and the teeth and the widgets will move and be placed according to true and full biomechanical information. The options that we have here regarding the segmentation for orthodontics, and let me just jump out a second. I'm going to click cancel and show you this is for a situation where you're clicking orthodontics, you're clicking aligners to plan the digital tooth setup for the aligners. And then you click import patient CT scan, which will take you through the process to import the patient CT. Of course, take you through the process to import the optical scan as well. It will merge everything and segment everything automatically. So that's the process flow that we're talking about in terms of the CT data segmentation for an aligner digital tooth setup. Okay, so I'm going back here to tools preferences. And by default, the options that we have selected here are the CT tooth segmentation is enabled by default because that is the reason that you're loading the CT scan. And then we have additional options for additional segmentation for the jaw bone segmentation, which is disabled by default. We keep, we're keep we keeping it disabled to reduce the processing time, but again, it is highly recommended to enable it so that you could see the tooth movement and the root movement in the actual jaw. So we do recommend to simply click on it and click enabled. And then we have the airway segmentation, which is again disabled by default. But if you'd like to activate it to run during the CT segmentation process for the liner digital tooth setup, again, click on it and click enabled. If you would like to have assistance with your aligner cases, either for the digital tooth setup or the complete aligner package, both of them taking advantage of true anatomical tooth movement you could place the order via labpronto.com. Aligners can be manufactured at fantastic pricing, or you could order just the digital tooth setup. Go to labpronto.com, choose orthodontics aligners, and select the relevant package.